are on Tampa Bay, literally. Our city is one of the best at research and development for treatments for the visually impaired. So I did some digging and found some major advancements that are allowing the blind to see again. Driving to meet me for an interview seems like a simple task. To Robert Perez, it's anything but. And without my transplant, I wouldn't be able to have a driver's license. For Samantha Trujillo, just laying her eyes on her wedding pictures, graduating from college, and now having a full-time job are things she will never take for granted again. I would have never dreamed that I would be working at a law firm every day, 8 to 5. We're trying to replicate as many things close to the human body as we can. Lion's eye is making a difference in two major ways. Researchers are using diseased human eye tissue rather than animal tissue to find ways to prevent and cure eye disease. Part of the reason that research is so critical here at the Lion's Eye Institute is because of these sleep suites. Researchers actually stay here on campus. We actually house the researchers here. They actually come, we'll wake them up at 2 o'clock in the morning. They'll do, and in some cases, what would take them three to six months. We can replicate that study in a week. And it could be a game changer for 10 million visually impaired across the country. You know what it is? You couldn't read bedtime stories to your children. You couldn't cook dinner or take the kids to the ball game or even go to a movie with the kids at night because you couldn't see. Lion's Eye points out while the transplants are standout stories, the masses are helped with advancements in treating eye diseases like glaucoma and macular degeneration.